Good morning, everybody. I am Chris Wilson with Modified Independence. This is Seven Minutes for Seniors. We are back for the third segment with my friend Mark Moss, number three. All right. Um, so we talked about all the death and dismemberment and DNRs and yes. everything. The pleasantries. Yeah, all the all the wonderful <laughs> stuff, right? So now, like I told you, we get to the cream filling of, okay. this, of this donut. So this is more of the fun stuff. I love donuts. Um, so uh, I love donuts, too. <laughs> I look like somebody who loves donuts, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I am built for eating donuts. <laughs> so, Mark, what kind of hobbies do you have? What do you do when you're not here? Donuts. Right? Um... Think about donuts. Think about donuts. Read donut recipes. Dream about donuts. <laughs> Eat donuts. Oh, I already said that. Um, when I'm not here, as much as I can, spending time with my family, wife, kids, either at home, swimming, going to Disney, spending as much time as I can with them. Um, Didn't I see you at the zoo recently? Was that you or was that somebody else? I'm uh, no, I don't know if we went to the zoo, but it was Animal Kingdom probably at Disney, so it looks oh, like okay. the zoo. Yeah. Um, so... Disney often, uh, when we can, with the kids, drinking occasionally. I don't want that's going to sound like I'm, you know, I have an issue. Um, drinking socially, right? Yeah, and enjoyably. Yeah, uh, not not to issues. Um, and I, he's got a hell of a bourbon collection, by the way. Just saying, it does it. It does the job. Yeah, it does the job. I'd have to be a lawyer to keep up. With it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it really is just spending time with family. I really don't have a ton of hobbies i mean i love you know sports memorabilia yeah things like that and i've got a ton around the office yeah um but really it's you know, i'm either working or i'm with my family yeah i'm either making memories or working so that we can have the memories exactly one, one of the yeah. two yeah what supports the other so no 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 golf you're not a golfer not a, a pickleballer or... no I've, I've debated about trying pickleball and I've been cautioned against it because I think of how addicting it is. Right. And I'm likely to be, I'm, I'm a very competitive, I used to play college football. Okay. Um, so I'm competitive by nature. Um, I'm not going to know how to not be competitive. So right. am I going to get injured? Yeah. Um, that's the risk that I don't know if I'm actually willing to take. You could still do your job even if you're injured. Depending on what the injury is, probably. Well, as long as it doesn't damage your brain. True, but I do a lot of this. Right? I, I, mean, I talk to text now. I, mean, I guess. You know. Yeah, but have you, last time you talked to text, she never knows what I'm saying. Oh, man. It's I, terrible. I sent a text to a patient one day. She was, she was texting me about our upcoming appointment, and I'm driving, and uh, I, I didn't say an expletive, but it sent the expletive. Yep. And then we had to have a conversation when I, went to, when I got to the house. You know? Happens, yeah. happens often, not necessarily, yeah. sometimes with the expletive, but otherwise just what in the world is this I saying? think I said duck. Yeah, and it never and, and what if I'm not trying to say duck, it auto yeah. to duck. Um, but poor ducks. Yeah, so try not to do that. I last time I golfed was actually in law school. Okay. Um, I'm sought after heavily for tournaments, right? Because I can take the max handicap. Oh, nice. Yeah, they, I'll contribute maybe one or two good shots. Yeah. The rest of it is just they want me they just for want your the yeah. handicap. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, I don't know the last time I actually went to a course though. I yeah. have clubs. Yeah. They're somewhere in my garage collecting dust. Um, but no, because again, you know, that's now four or five hours oh, yeah. of the day, which well spent. It's fun. Yeah. But again, if I'm not here, I'm there. Yeah. And are the kids at the course? Who now we get into that whole thing. Yeah. So I'm, and your kids, are your kids old enough to be into activities or? My oldest is five. He's getting there. Yeah. Um, haven't found the sport he's really into if he's going to be in a sport yeah. i think a lot of building i think maybe some architecture robotics yeah something along those lines we've done some sports he's enjoyed some others he's like get me out of here yeah and actually it's not get me out of here it's when are the snacks right yeah. i don't know where he gets that you know, <laughs> focused on food thing but he just wants yeah. the snacks yeah uh, yeah um and then my youngest is is two and a half um so haven't really figured out any of that yet which is also why we're at disney so often yeah have you been to caddyshack the cat the up on up on i haven't been with the Stair kids Road. i haven't yeah. been with the kids but we my wife and i went a while ago we did the was it at nighttime you go when they're doing For the, the feeding? feeding yeah wow yeah yeah crazy yeah and what's his name spider-man yeah oh, the, oh yeah massive i don't know how the fence can hold up yeah yeah. So it's funny because I used to, that used to be my area. Mm. So 
what, 14 years ago, I'm driving through there and it's literally trailer, 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 fence. Yeah. Caddyshack, fence, trailer, trailer, trailer. I'm like, so. But that's a good fence. Uh, right. Yeah. It better be a really <laughs> good fence, right? Yeah. And it's, it's fascinating. So we just went a couple weeks ago and it was absolutely awesome. I couldn't believe it. I watched a uh, black bear uh, crack a coconut. I mean, it probably just, like it's nothing. Yeah. 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 And that's I'm like, oh. Like human head. Yeah. You know. It's scary when you think about it like that. Yeah. It's huge, like, I don't know, coconuts probably, someone can Google and figure it out. Coconut is probably harder than our head. Yeah. So if they can do that, yeah. you were nothing. It was nothing. crazy. It was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so the feeding was was just fascinating. And the guys just like, you know, reaching through and petting them like they're house cats, you know. Ballsy. No. Yeah. Like I just, <laughs> the. I'd only do it with my left hand. I wouldn't do it at all. <laughs> no. I would love to get close. But yeah. Like, I'm going to stop it. I, I, I plan for a living. Yeah. That's like, you can't plan for, that's a known unknown. Yeah. Yeah. Is the fence going to hold up or is it not? Yeah. Is that a risk I'm willing to take? Like, to me, planning, it's, it's the calculated risks. Yeah. You know, we went, we love to travel as well when we can, even with the kids. We went to South Africa a while ago. And we, I went cage diving with great whites. Oh, wow. Awesome. Highly recommend anyone that's going down there. Well worth the, the half day experience. Are the premiums paid up? Yeah. Life insurance, everything is good. Cool. Have fun. Yeah. Like calculated risk. If the worst happens, are, you know, is everyone going to be provided for? So, I, so, so, you know, you've heard the story about the mechanic that has the worst running car. Is your estate plan put together? Like, like tightened up? It's it's put together. Is it as tight as it could be? Should be. It's the mechanic with the bad car. Yeah, it's yeah. the cobbler's kid without shoes. Yeah. It's there. Could it be tightened up? Everyone's could be tightened up. Yeah. Will it work how I want it to and need it to? Yes. There you go. Good. Good. <laughs> um, so we run. I, I love talking to you. Gonna, I mean, we've I, talked I, so I, many I, times. So. What I do, it's almost like that's what I do for a living. Right. So tell me something surprising about you. I have been hit by a car. Oh, shit. Surprise. <laughs> that explains a lot of it now, doesn't it? I love it. That explains I love everything. It. I love it when people pull something just out of left field. Yeah, I was, awesome. uh, was like seven or eight. I was young. Um, we were living with my grandparents at the time, and I was having a, a bike race with my brother. You know, go to one end of the street, come back. The street was set up almost like an H. So you, we were on the cross street of the H. There's yeah. an ingress and an egress. Didn't see the car coming down the egress mm -hmm. till the last second, kind of stuck my arm out, kind of a Heisman-esque, mm -hmm. wrist bent back, hit my arm, flew off the bike, cracked the helmet. I was told if I didn't have a helmet, I would have died. Right. Um, face was all road rash. And then the very next day were literally baseball pictures. Oh, geez. So I showed up for pictures. Bruiser. Yeah. Oh, it was great. Arms, everything's bandaged up. Face is halfway gone. But it was, yeah. So that probably explains a lot about me that I've been hit by a car. Nice. Nice. Surprise. And the car's probably not around anymore. Um, I think they might have had a little scratch. Well, no, I'm saying the car's in the junkyard and you're still rolling. Oh, yeah. The car's yeah. long gone. I think yeah. the owner was is probably gone as well. Wow. They, I, we was in a respectfully it was in a senior neighborhood and this was you know almost 25 30 years ago yeah he might still be around i if you're out there this man's still alive and kicking i wish i remembered his i don't even know what his name was but <laughs> i'm still here how's that car <laughs> <laughs> well it's this has been our third segment of seven minutes for seniors i appreciate you guys for tuning in if you like the content make sure you like follow subscribe if you like what Mark has to talk about, which all of us should, make sure you reach out to him. All of his information is going to be right after I count down in three, two, one. See you next time.